So let's start Luke chapter number 1 verse number 30. Angel came to Mary. Mary fear not God is going to give you a glad tidings of a son whose name shall be called Jesus the son of the most high. Now this expression son of the most high I don't want to go into that but it's very clear. Bible got son by the tons you know that and even Jesus says that you people you yourself call gods and son of God is nothing in John chapter 10 verse number 30 onwards. You can you know that. So this son of the most high is not something <coughs> a great value as an expression that he's the only son. Luke chapter 3 verse 38 said Adam the son of God. So angel came to Mary and said Mary fear not. God is going to give you a glad tiding of a son whose name shall be called Jesus. The son of the most high. Now I want to ask these Christians and pastors did angel said may this word Jesus because Jesus is Latinized form. He didn't say Jesus, but you are telling all of the people who are reading the translation of the translation that he said Jesus, which is wrong. It's unethical wrong. It's totally unethical. Why? Because <clears throat> you are putting a lie that he said Jesus, whereas you know that the pastor knows that he did not say Jesus. Angel didn't say Jesus. He could have said Isa, Yahshua, or Yasur or whatever but not Jesus that hundred percent sure and then further he says the son of the most high son of the most high is the expression which is not something you know uh, a point to be taken why because Bible got son by the tons in Luke same chapter chapter number three verse number 38 it says Adam the son of God so what's the point so this expression son of the most high has no value it's just like an expression in the idiomatic sense in jews because they say son means a prophet of god as why bible says adam the son of god i said it just now luke chapter 3 verse 38 and then jesus also said about this thing in john chapter 10 verse 30 when jews said that you are doing blasphemy by calling yourself son of god or making yourself equal to god then he explained it he said, is it not written in your law that ye are gods? Who? Jews. <clears throat> 82nd Psalm, you are the children of God, the most high. Then, in the book of Exodus, in chapter 4, where it says, God is speaking to Moses, says, Behold, I have made you a god to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron, thy shall be a prophet. And these statements, when you see, Jesus says, clearly, I don't want to go into that, and then after that, they were start picking stone against him. They said, as many good works, I'm reading John chapter 10, verse number 30 on words, as many good works I have shown you from my father and out of from which good work you are stoning me for. Jew says, we are not stoning you for the good works, but we are stoning you that thou being a man, make up thyself a God. What did he say after that? Did he say, yes, I agree with you? As you Christian says, not yet. Yes, this is what it means. No. Then he says, it not written in your law that ye are gods. And he said, whom the word has come. Say ye of him whom the father has sanctified and sent into this world. Thou blasphemous. Because you said that you are son of God, which is nothing. Because you are being called gods in your Bible. Who? Jews. This is the explicit you know, statement of Jesus Christ in a defend of this ideology of being, you know, son of God. So, son of the most high. Then what happens after that? You will get, angel said to Mary, mark my words, from here you have to be very attentive. Angel said to Mary that your son, he will take his father's throne, David. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And his power or whatever he's ruling will be forever. I would like to ask these Christian missionaries. Which throne of David was given to Jesus Christ at his time? Give me one quotation from the Bible. Which throne of David was given? Sorry. 
which ruling was given to Jesus Christ over the house of Jacob in the Bible. Please quote, quote me one verse and that is enough. <clears throat> Trust me guys, in the Bible, it's all opposite. Angel said to Mary that you will get, your son will get his father's throne, David, David's throne, in other words, and he will rule over the house of Jacob, meaning the children of Yaqub, Jews, forever. You know that. That house of Jacob, they put him on the cross and Jesus said, my own receive me not. Then the throne of David, that throne of David, Pontius Pilate, the pagan was sitting and was interrogating Jesus Christ instead of Jesus Christ would interrogate him according to the prophecy. So where is the truth? When they was having midnight trial, when they brought him to Sanhedrin, Jews charged him that he is claiming to be the son of God, which is blasphemy. And then he explained them Jews, I don't want to go there, but when they took him to Pontius Pilate, over there they changed the charge and they said he's claiming to be the king of the Jews. And then Jesus Christ said to Pontius Pilate, my kingdom is not of this earth. What angel said that you will, he will take his father's throne or your son will take his father's throne, David, the throne of David. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. Jesus Christ said, my own received me not. Where is the ruling? And according to you, they, these Jews killed him on the cross. The chapter is even closed. It is Islam which came to the rescue. Wama qatalu, wama salabuhu. Neither they killed him nor they crucified him. Walakin should be alone. But it was made to appear to them so. But we have a rescue for him, but you don't. You believe he died. So there was no throne of David given to him and, didn't e and even he didn't aspire for it. He said, my kingdom is not of this earth, not of this world. Throne of David was on this earth, sir. Throne of David was a physical throne, not on the heavens. As one of the Christian missionaries said, oh, they're, they're talking about on the heaven. What is the benefit of kingdom, this uh, throne of David on the heaven? What does it fulfill? What does it service? <laughs> so... So this, this thing, throne of David, nobody gave him. And on that throne of David, Pontius Pilate was sitting when Jesus was there on the trial. Imagine that. And then 70 AD, when Titus kicked all Jews out and destroyed the second temple, he took that throne of David, a rock or a stone, and he brought into Ireland. Then from Ireland, it went into Scotland. From Scotland, came back to Ireland. And then from Ireland, it came back to, oh no, it just went back to Westminster Abbey, the Royal Parliament in England, United Kingdom. So this is the story. This is the history of throne of David. And this throne of David is still there under the, the chair of throne of Queen Elizabeth or whosoever the queen in this coronation, coronation, sorry, they use this in uh, anointment, they take the, for consecration. So, throne of David is gone. And who, which house of Jacob, Jesus Christ ruled? 2000 years are gone. 2021. And still Jews, they call him imposter. They call him son of, Pand son of Pandera, bastard. They call him in the Tel Aviv television. Which, tell me, which ruling? Jesus, and, and the verse says, forever. Forever means till you're born, till your death. Forever means forever. Not there's a complete, you know, respite or interval between those two eons or eras. No, it doesn't mean that. Prophecy says, your son will take your father's throne, David, which was not given to Jesus, and didn't, he didn't aspire for it. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever which he didn't rule because those house of Jacob, they put him on the cross to get rid of him. And Jesus said from his own mouth, my own receive me not. Whatever as they say, gonna rule it. Hosanna, the son of David, he was caught and put on the trial. 
And then the prophecy is further says, and his ruling, his kingdom will be forever till end. Which ruling of Jesus? 2000 years are gone. Who is ruling in Israel? Who is ruling in the rest of the world? New world order, Antichrist, Dajjal, and still Jews are waiting for their Messiah, which they think is a real Messiah, Messiah. They call this uh, the, their Messiah, and Islam and Christianity both together says no, that will be Antichrist, Messiah Dajjal. So, this was a message to my viewers. Ask these two questions to them, and which sense these two prophecies were fulfilled. وَأَقِرُوا الدَّعْوَانَ عَنِ الْحَمْدِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ